Well, I think cryptocurrency is bullshit. I think it's cyanide, placebo, <laughs> you know what I mean? I like to look at assets as something that actually produces something, right? Like it's, it's two parts to it, right? The asset itself and what the asset actually produces. Okay, so think of it as like a farm. If you purchase a farm, like you have the land, then you have what the farm produces. At the end of the year, you can have some type of a tangible um, product being produced that you can gauge the, the value of the actual asset or the actual farm. When it comes to, um, you know, you know, Bitcoin or crypto, there's, there's no, it doesn't produce anything. Um, and it's basically just perceived value and perception. So you're, you're buying something, banking on um, someone else, valuing it more than what you pay for and then selling it to them. And then you're just ping ponging um, a non-productive asset and over time it either dissolves or it's almost like a, a, a financial stale, stalemate and it's no real clear cut way to, um, to, 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 to scale it or even understand the, the, the perceived value. Now if we're talking about um, crypto in terms of short-term investing and instant gratification then it can be lucrative if you understand how to um, leverage the, the perception of the crypto. But overall, I think we should be more focused on skill acquisition, certification, um, developing platforms and institutions. So when I talk about certifications, um, there's, no, there's no shortcuts to developing true wealth, right? So when I say certifications, I mean something like a CFA, uh, which is a certified financial analyst, uh, CPA, certified public accountant, uh, acquiring your, ser your series seven. Now, when you have your CFA, you know how to adequately analyze stock. OK, um, and when you have so that's certification. Also, I talked about skill acquisition. We have to understand how to build the technology that these non-productive um, assets live on, right? Like we have to, to learn how to write the code, learn how to develop the technology and the software. Um, and then in terms of platforms, we need to have ownership and equity. We need to create our own blockchain, right? Um, because there's, a, there's no real um, protection or, 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 or accountability institutions created to 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 kind of like police this this new digital currency that's going on and when it when we start to go in that direction there's no black um, owners in that area so to say again we need to focus on skill acquisition certification developing our own platforms developing our own blockchain um, creating our own uh, institutions and then the focus needs to be on utilities people are gonna always eat sleep it and wear clothes um, and it's gonna always be a value system in place to exchange things that are um, a necessity to humans this need for instant gratification you know with with this generation that I think is going to be very very dangerous for the future finances of this generation right nothing great happens overnight and i think we need to learn how to simplify um our uh investment strategies i think we need to be more focused on actual skills and certifications versus just uh, information put out to the internet right and that means understanding what is like SEC right so, uh, Securities and Exchange Commission 
understanding what is the standardized pour, understanding what is the Moody Manuals, understanding what is a what is an actual stock, what is the Fortune 500, and why is it that the top 1% rich people on this planet does not find crypto or Bitcoin, they're not fond of it. Um, and I think um, as African Americans, we have to focus on creating our own everything. Creating our own everything and then collaborating in a way to where we maintain ownership for the generations that's going to come after us. Um, and again, it's all about having the, the, uh, a particular mentality, right? And meaning like we are in the times of David and Goliath. Technology is the slingshot, right? We are in the times of David and Goliath. Technology is a slingshot, but the rock inside the slingshot is collaboration. But the collaboration has to be um, horizontal and not vertical. Horizontal meaning peer to peer, right? Um, and I think when we understand that, um, then we'll see some uh, true, true wealth development for our people and our race and our culture.